what's up youtube this is maxim and today i'm going to give you three reasons why you find it difficult to paint shadows in photoshop as a beginner most of beginners have this as a common issue i too have this as a common issue when i started painting in photoshop until i finally find a way to fix this so the three reasons why I'm, the three reasons i'll be giving you today if you understand these three reasons and try to change these reasons and stop making use of this method it's really really going to help you so the first reason is you guys don't understand your shadows before you start painting okay so let's say this is the image i'll be painting and i already have it right here so the first thing you need to do is for you to observe the shadows and your highlights on your artwork i showed you that in the previous video which i did but this is this is going more in depth than the previous one so i'm going to grab a, a brush and i will zoom in closely to the image now this is a kind of like a difficult image to figure out the highlights but first let's understand the direction of the light so looking at this image you get to understand that she's in a car and the highlights light is coming from that part of the picture and it's hitting almost everywhere at this part so now right here we have the lights here we have the lights here but now there is issue over all these places you can't find the light very well but when you take out your time and look closely you can see that we have lights here and we have lights there now this is not a really way to understand the light so i'm going to delete this layer but first we just have to know where the light is coming from which is just what we did now understanding the highlights on the image or the artwork you are painting the highlights and the shadows now look at the word the shadows all the what am i going to how am i even going to say oh let me just put it the lines on the faces now those lines it's really really going to help you understand that so let's get into this place first let me go here and create a new layer so let's assume i'm trying to paint something so i just grab a soft round brush and the hard round brush i go a little bit darker with this and i just oh no let me see use the soft round brush and i go darker and i just paint something like this and i grab a little bit of color lighter color and then i paint now you can see the demarcation between these two colors right showing the highlights and the shadows so that is exactly what you are really really going to understand in your artwork now when you look at this you can see that this place there is no light and it's a little bit dark from this part and right here we have light now you can see something look at this part of the artwork when you look here you can see that this place there is a demarcation there showing the lights and the shadows which makes you to know that there is a curve on that part of the face and the same thing is going on right here you can see that there is a little bit of curves right here showing the highlights and the shadows the same thing is happening right here showing the highlight and the shadows okay if this is too difficult for you to <clears throat> understand now let's make use of this method go up to filter filter gallery oh, i'm sorry about that but go up to filter filter gallery and artistic then select the poster edge now you can see what i what i was showing you so in this face now you can see that we have the shadows right like what i was showing you there i was telling you that there was shadow there was highlight on, on that part which you can see right now but not really that much so we have a little bit of highlights here and shadows and shadows now you can see that demarcation i was really really telling you about right not too long ago which you can see right here so now once you are able to understand this method of finding out the shadows or trying to understand the shadows and highlights on the faces it will be very very easy for you to uh, figure out how to paint the highlights and shadows so first of all now that we have that method 
now that we find that highlights and shadows that we have there we understand how the highlight and shadows works what, we have, what i'm going to do now i'm just going to grab a flat color which is right here and i'm just going to paint rough around this art block i don't want to put much time on that so i'm just going to paint rough over the face right i'm just going to grab the razor to and just erase a little bit around just to keep it a little bit clean okay so now we have that the second mistake you guys always do is this when you have the when you have the highlights or you've paint the mid tone the mistake you always do it's in your color picker i'm not going to make use of this i'll make use of the photoshop default color picker now in your color picker what, what you always do the kind of mistake you always do you always go straight down and when you go straight down you just hit ok and you go back and start painting so i'm going to grab the soft round brush again then you go back and start painting this is where most of you guys always have issues now to fix this again this is what you are going to do when you grab the color your mid tone which you have just picked and applied you want to pick that color again then head over to your color picker and this time you don't just want to come down straight just like this because if you come down straight it's going to what darken the what skin tone for you now look at the image when you see the image you can see that we have a little bit of red on the shadows which is a little bit more saturated on the shadows than the highlight so when you grab the skin tune you double click on the color picker when you come down a little bit like this you want to go a little bit like this and make it more saturated then this part you add a little bit of red to it now once you've done that you can click ok and go back and you paint so now you can see the big difference between the colors you are making use of and the colors i just showed you now the third method which i want to show you guys it's the method of applying the highlights and the shadows when you're applying the highlight and the shadows on your artwork you need to understand the way to apply the highlights and shadows now most of you you we just would look at the artwork just like this and say let me grab the soft round brush here we just look at it and say okay we have shadows here and i'm just going to do like this we we'll have shadows there i'm just going to do like this and do like this and that's all you can just grab your no most of you guys make use of the soft brush so just Grab the soft brush, have shadows there, do the shadows like this, and uh, you do it like this, like this, and like this. Then you can grab the highlights, just grab the highlights, and repeat the same process, just go up a little bit and go outside a little bit, just like that. It's enough. And you grab the highlight and just do something like this, and then do something like this since you can sit there and you do like this like this and you are done then you have a dotted shadows which you just apply that it's not having any transition now the real way to apply these shadows is this so let me see i'm going to delete all these stuff so what i'm going to do i already have the artwork i have painted right here so um I'm just going to go down to this group. I'm going to turn off every eye. I should see right here. Turn off the clip. I'm going to reveal the skin. And I'm just going to leave only this one. And I'm going to create a new layer. So, when you apply the mid tone, the first thing you always want to do create a new layer and set that layer to clipping mask. When you set the layer to clipping mask, you can now grab your shadow. The first thing you want to grab is the shadow so i'm just going to grab the shadow right here which is what i already have there and if you need a skin tone i already have this um skin tone i'm going to leave, leave a link in the description to where you'll be able to download this skin tune and some other skin tune i'll be using in photoshop so to apply these shadows this is how you do it so let's look at it let's study the shadow very well let's study the what we've learned so on 
now you can see that we'll have a little bit of shadows right here then we have some kind of a highlight right here so what i'm going to do now first i'm just going to i'm not really going to pay attention to this highlight now what i'm going to do i'm just going to mind the shadows and i'm going to grab the hard run brush that is what i always make use of i make use of the hard run brush most times so and uh, not just the hard run brush with a little bit of epoxy or oh, let me stick to the default general brush in photoshop so that you can understand that very well or if you guys have downloaded my brush pack i guess uh i'll just stick to my brush pack because i already give it out for you guys to download so it won't be proper making use of the soft run brush in photoshop okay so let's look at the shadows so we have the shadows right here so now let's just paint down a little bit let's just keep it that way i'm not gonna mind this for now so let's keep it that way let me take this out all right so that's fair you can see the demarcation between here and here now i'm not minding the leaves and so on so we can just now always try to increase and decrease the size of your brush it's very very important when you're trying to paint on a smaller place you decrease the size of your brush so just going to add a little bit like this now you can see that we have few at the bottom of this part then we can just add a little bit of that then we have shadows right here so now i can increase the size of the brush as you can see i'm not minding the light as for now so i can just come down and pen a little bit of light okay still not minding the highlight as you can see and just add that so we have a little bit of it on the nose so let you just a little bit of it yeah i'm not trying to be perfect right here i'm just doing this quick so we have right here on the eyes so let's put that on the eyes then we have on this other part of the eyes let's put that on the other part of the eyes now you want to be precise when you are applying these shadows yourself not the way i'm applying it so we have um just a little bit here but let's just put that and we have inside of the eyes now my application is very very rough but that doesn't really matter the way you apply your shadow can be rough but you can go back and fix all the stuff so we have our shadows up there so i'm just going to apply that linking up with this part so i'm just going to link that up for now okay so let's just see we are done applying the shadows now it's time to apply the highlights so there's something you really guys understand before you apply the highlights you can just apply the highlights on every Part. So what you're going to do or what I'm going to advise you to do is just for you to apply the highlights on the lightest part which you can see and most times it is advisable to make use of the pressure opacity brush because it can help you to apply the shadow. Some parts, some parts which are not really light you can just press a little bit but I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. So let's start and let's start applying the highlight so what i'm going to advise you guys as a beginner you want to make use of two layers when you are applying the shadows and highlight so i'm going to put the shadows on a separate layer the highlight on a separate layer so let's start off so we have highlights here so i'm going to just put the highlights right there okay so we have another highlights right here i'm gonna have put the highlights right here and right here we have highlights those highlights I ignored before, I'm now coming back to make use of them. So it get down to this part. Yeah, just like that. So we have a little bit of highlights here. So I'm going to put that. Then we just have a little bit here too. Then on the nose, which is what we have right here. Then just a little bit inside the eyes. Now this is too much, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. And we have right here, we have right here facing this part a little bit then we have right here but i'm not really going to be applying any shadows right there so we have shadows right here and so on now this is where the tricky part comes in which is really really important part of this video so now we have applied all the whole shadows and highlights which we see but there are some certain places which we can't see which is all this part right there we can't grab we don't, we don't really need to grab another colors to start painting all those parts but most people always do that you can grab another color and apply on all those parts but i wouldn't advise that because i'm really going to show you how to fix that 
now i'm not going to advise you guys to make use of a brush on this part because it's a little bit kind of like it's going to give you some kind of difficulties making use of it because we have the pressure sensitivity right here so i'm going to advise you go over to the general brush in photoshop to select the soft drawn brush present in photoshop go over to opacity set your opacity to 30 percent and go over to flow and set the flow to 50 percent now you have your mid-tone your shadows and your highlights on a separate layer now create another layer i set that to clipping mask again it's already set to clipping mask but to create a clipping mask you just right click and set to clipping mask you're going to see it here it's already on clipping mask that's why it's asking me to release clipping mask so now you might want you want to zoom in not you might you want to zoom in closely to concentrate on your highlights and shadow so what you are going to do now the alt key on the keyboard it's your friend if you're on mac you can use the option but for windows users the alt key is now your friend so what you're going to do look at those parts that is being stretched out like shadows is the line stretch out to this part and they are not really dark the way it is here it's kind of like blending with the skin so what you're going to do just pick a little bit and paint just like this now now that you've painted, then pick from this part that you paint and apply it here just apply a little bit and pick again then go over to this part now you can see that we're gradually changing the colors of the shadows that we apply so you want to keep doing this process all right now if you see that it's giving a little bit of demarcation and it's coming out you want to pick from this part again and just apply it right here you can see now that it's now blending so i'm going to repeat that same process right here i'm just going to pick and apply and pick from here apply the colors just like that going to apply just like that okay so now you can see how it's blending so this is what we have before and this is what we have after it's now blending so now you are getting that kind of shape right here don't worry about the darkest part you can go back and repeat the shadows that is if you watch my previous video i'm going to refer you back to watching the previous video because it's really going to show you how to build up the dark part of the shadows after doing all this blending but in most cases if you all just lost the shadows totally you can grab from some other places that still have the shadows color and just apply a little bit to bring it back Okay, so now we have that now mixing the shadows and the highlights how can you really really do that so here we have a little bit of highlights and shadows mixing together so what you're going to do you pick a little bit of the highlights just like that by holding down alt and click then you paint outside just like that now you can see it's blending in so you can pick from the word the shadows again and paint now pick from the mid and try to paint and pick from the highlights again paint in the shadows and paint in the just keep doing that till you get exactly what you want so i'm just going to spread this out the way i spread the other one so i'm going to okay so now you can see that side is not blending but it's, we are still having some kind of issues if you look closely it's not really blending that well so i'm just going to paint this like this all right so this is absolutely okay right now so you just want to repeat this same process all over over again till you really get exactly what you want so now you can really see what we have so the image is no more flat even if we are not really really showing that the difference between the shadows and the highlight right now even the meeting but it's not really really flat compared to what we have so when we turn this off you can see this is a flat image that we have and we turn this on you can see it's no longer flat well i will just go few, i'll just go over a few of these i won't really go over everything so you can just stick around And most times when I'm doing all this stuff, I really don't 
aim for the highlight first i just try to blend in everything and soften it now if you notice what i'm what i'm doing here exactly i'm trying to soften these shadows that i applied because it's really too dark so i'm just mixing the shadows and the highlights together trying to soften it so that it's really going to make sense before i start applying the main shadows and the highlight but why i do that why i try to soften the shadows which i applied i try to retain some details of the highlights and shadows which i already applied for which i already applied so that i will be able to know where the highlights and shadows really really are so now you can see that i just blend this part everything has just got into place not really showing you where the shadows are and the highlights are but you can always also always fix that so at this part of the nose where we have the line it's really really important this line right here so let me really show you how to fix that line so pick from the dark tone and just paint the little bit right here pick from the highlight and paint pick from there just try to round that now maintain that shape while you keep painting if you mistakenly pick white and paint on a black you can make use of the undo button or you can just pick from the black and just paint over there so let's work on this part very very well it's really 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 important so So now you can see that we've softened those parts and so i have softened the shadows and we've softened the highlights together on this part. So I'm going to stop here. With this little idea and this little trick that I've showed you guys, make use of these to practice and you see that before a week or two, you get to understand how to really, really paint shadows. You don't, you don't just start working the particular day like you start working today and you expect yourself to get a perfect result no it's not really going to make sense so one thing you just really have to understand is that when you keep working you get to understand everything so let me really break down something for you which i did i tried to uh, mix the shadows and the highlights so let me just show you that in detail so let's say um this is the let me grab the hard run brush the pressure side this is the shadows we should have right here um that's set to clipping mask and create another layer above so this is the shadows that we have right here let me take 100 percent so this is the shadows let's put it that way and then this is the highlights now what i did was that you know, set that to 30 percent 50 percent so what I did was that I pick a little bit from this part, pick a little bit from the highlights and I place it a little bit on the, uh, the shadows. Then I grab from that part which I place and then I paint all over the shadows. Now you can see that it's now light. So I keep picking and sampling over, picking and sampling over, pick a little bit from there again and sample over what lighten the shadows which is exactly what you can see here so now once you've done with that process applying the shadows and blending them with just this step i always call it the pre-blending so once you're done with all this stuff you want to grab the mixer brush you can grab the mixer brush in my brush set or you can make use of photoshop default. so i'm just going to grab the mixer brush in my brush set but before i do that let me show you how to set the photoshop default so first grab the mixer brush go to your brush to right click and hold down your mouse your left click or just right click once and it's going to open then scroll down to mixer brush select the mixer brush then go over to your brush settings your brush and select the soft run brush i already set this to 20 20 20 10 20 i already showed you guys my mixer brush settings so once you have that, create another layer, set that to clipping mask. Then you go over and start blending. 
and make sure sample all layer is being checked it's very very important and if you're making use of an outline just like this i would advise you to turn off the outline and turn off the background so that you don't sample from them so now you keep blending just like this those parts which you have already mix a little bit so yeah let's just try it so now you can see that we have a little bit of rough places over here so just mix them just use the mixer brush to mix them to be okay so let's mix this part and don't try to make it on mixer brush you just mix part like this because it's really going to kill everything for you it's going to take much of your time kill everything for you i don't really really advise that by the way so just make everything i always use mixer brush to smoothen the edge of the artwork so let just do that okay so now you can see between the before and the after the before and the after how it blends everything so in a nice way so now once you've done everything just like this and it's really okay for you then you can proceed to adding up the darkest part of the artwork so i'm going to leave a link in the description to my previous video where i explain when i where I first of all explain about the shadows and highlights because i really don't want this video to get up to 30 minutes and it's over 26 minute long right now so with this little idea which i've given to you guys on how to fix the shadows and the highlight or how to paint the shadows on the highlight i hope it's really really going to help you guys because i really want to see you guys publishing a nice art vlog most times i got frustrated seeing the shadows and the highlights but i just have to recommend you guys and make sure that you guys go higher every day by day so i really hope this video fix something for you about painting the shadows and the highlights in your artwork and if you do i would love to see your comment below or if possible to see your artwork there is a link in the description that will take you to my facebook page and my instagram page you can always talk to me if you have any question or you have anything you really want to discuss with me and aside of that if you've not subscribed yet make sure to make it on the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any new tips and tricks i will be posting every week so i hope you guys have a nice day and see you guys in my next video